So you need to create some intents. But what does that mean? An intent is a group of examples of things that a user might say to communicate a specific goal or idea. These help Watson understand the underlying intent behind a user's words. Creating intents with Watson Conversation is easy. You start by taking something that your users might want and then enter a few examples of what they would say to express that. Let's imagine you have an application that lets you interact with a car. If you know your users often say, I want to turn off my headlights, that's definitely the type of question you would want to have Watson learn to answer. What's their goal or idea there? Simple, they want to turn something off. For intents, you don't necessarily need to know what they want to turn off or any other factors. At this point, you just need Watson to realize their intent is to turn something off. A broad intent is the way to go here. In your service, go to the intent screen and select create. Name an intent turn underscore off. Keep in mind that when naming intents, you can use letters, numbers, underscores, and dashes, but not spaces. Now, add examples. Examples should be realistic and varied ways that a user may articulate what they want. Make sure you use things your users would actually say. In fact, if you can collect example questions or requests direct from your users, that's always best. For the turn off intent, let's add some examples like, I want to turn off my headlights. I don't want to hear music anymore. Can I cancel cruise control? Switch my headlights off. Or, I don't need my wipers anymore. As you see, the users may want to turn off different appliances, but that's okay. We just need to know their intent is to turn something off. And they may not say the words turn off, but that's what they want. That's why we group these examples together. They have the same goal. The more examples you add, the better your bot will become at recognizing when a user wants to turn something off. You don't need to think of every possibility. It's recommended to come up with a minimum of five examples for each intent. You can always go back to your intents to edit or add examples later. Now select done. Congratulations, you've created your first intent.